This guy over here is crying. This guy's boohooing about MLG. This guy's like, oh, oh, oh. I got fucked up. What's going on, YouTube? Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? This is the game 360, my birthday. What's going on, y'all? Today I want to talk to you guys about the latest message that y'all just seen. This guy is crying his eyeballs out, man. This has to be about. This, I think, I believe this is the game, right? This, after this game, this guy sent me a message, boo-hooing, crying. Ooh, he said, ooh, ooh. <laughs> this dude's crying for no reason. Call me a camper, this and that. MLG, uh, hardcore gamer. I'm, 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 a, I'm a hardcore gamer. Yeah, I love the game. But when it comes to these multiplayer games, this is Call of Duty, uh, Battlefield, Madden, uh, fighting games. I'm not no, I'm not a hardcore person. I'm just, I just play the game for how it is, man. It, the guys accused me of camping, so I'm, I'm just gonna put out the video and put out key points of where I'm camping. I don't think I'm camping at all. I might do a little bit of both aggressive and and camping situations, but I'm not. I wasn't camping the whole game. Now, like the the difference is. Uh, many people can have a certain play style and it can affect the game, you know, believe it or not. Now, I play with a lot of people on my friend list and I play with a lot of people outside of friend list or I go play with people that's randoms and I can spot the difference. The majority of people on my friend list are a bunch of campers. I'll tell you shit right now. If you will play with me, you're going to be playing with some campers. So, if you don't put 100% out, you're going to get blown out. They're not going to care though because all they care about is uh, our KD ratios, but we'll get slaughtered at the end of the day. So it doesn't even matter what uh, what situation will come about on my part because I'm gonna do my part. If I don't do my part, then we're all gonna get raped. It's just a matter, just a simple matter of that. You know, that's just it is what it is, man. What kind of a play style that you're in? Are you a camper? You know, the pros of camping is you can have. A pretty well done kill death ratio. You get your kill streaks. Um, you won't, of course, you won't die as often. But at the end of the day, you go always go lose your games. It, uh, it's going the score streaks are going to take longer to get since you're not going you're not going to face against any aggressive attacking. You're not going to play the objective can't get the points while getting to kills. Even in team deathmatch, uh, team deathmatch, I believe is what, 100 points a kill? 125, I believe, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But if you can't be, you're not gonna get the score streak as often as you should be. And um, another thing about camping, it's like, if you camp and your teammates gonna come right on you, 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 you're basically preventing the spawn. So if you're playing with multiple campers, then you just go prevent the spawn. That's just the way it's going to be. And if you're playing things like uh, objectives, like you're going to capture, hardpoint, demolition, domination, you go prevent the spawn. You're spawning from the back of the map, and I don't think your teammates would appreciate you doing that. Are you aggressive? Do you play aggressive? Uh, the pros about playing aggressive is you go get your kill streaks a lot quicker. You go out get your lot. You go get a lot more kills. You go show up on the leaderboards, top three, number one, maybe. Uh, you will get more of a score, score per minute. Uh, also, playing aggressive, you get yourself. If you're a YouTuber, such as myself, playing aggressive, you might get some montage flips. You know, you might get some more. You might get more respect from your peers as they're watching the video. They won't judge you as a camper. They just judge you as an aggressive player. The, the cons of aggressive playing is you make mistakes. I make plenty of mistakes. Believe it or not, the game 360 do make mistakes. And once once those mistakes carries over during the game, that team's gonna wind up getting kill streaks. You know, a camper versus an aggressive player, the camper's always gonna win. 
That's why you play against the camper. You gonna want to play. You want to play their game. You can't go after them. You can't be upset because you got killed by a camper. Okay, you camping? Well, I'm gonna leave you alone. And I'm gonna hit you with a uh, health storm or, or a lightning strike. You know, when, when I get the chance. I'm not gonna forget about you, but I'm not gonna play along with your games. I know some of you campers, man. I know how to beat y'all, motherfuckers. Man. I don't know why y'all keep doing this. Anyways, the the extra con of being an aggressive player in Call of Duty is that you're going to wind up getting destroyed. If you play against a whole team of a party of six or the party of uh, nine, I believe, in the ground war. Is it eight? No, I think it's eight or eight. If you're playing against a party of nine, whatever, play against a party of six or a party of eight or a full lobby of ground war, just another full organized party, you're going to get raped. Now, if I want to rate myself as if I'm a camper or an aggressive player of Call of Duty, um, I can't say there's an in-between because if it was up to me, I'm pretty much in-between. I pretty much uh, I go around the objective, you know, I would do what's, I do what's best. I'm not aggressive, but I, I don't camp, you know, I just play the game mode and I just like, you know what, the game's domination. I'm gonna get this shit over with and I'm gonna play the next game. I don't got time to be kill horn and all the other stuff because I, I just ruin the whole. If, if, if your plan is, is to kill whore, and like, if you have me on team, that's not gonna happen because I'm gonna catch the objectives. I, just, I don't want to stay in one match that's like 20 minutes long. I really don't. I just get the, I just get the game over with. You no, know, next game. If you act nice enough to get yourself 80 kills or something, then, you know, I glory, glory for you. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's, if I had to choose though, between camping and being an aggressive player. I'm going to say I'm more of an aggressive player. I just can't sit there. I can't do it, man. I can't do it. And if I do do it, you know, I have so many people judge me. You know, people will judge me as this 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 thing on Call of Duty where like everyone's expecting greatness from me. Yeah, I don't think that's fair, anything, but that's just the way that I will put myself onto it because of the whole YouTube thing and the whole uh, leaderboard thing and you see me getting these kind of kills during these regular games. Like my regular game, my regular games. Uh, I was streaming last night for a friend of mine, and I was um, I was averaging about like 60 kills a game. Like I was going like 60 and 10 for like an hour and a half. And you know that's in his eyes, that's just his expectations of me. Like so, he's expecting uh, things like that coming from me every game, and it's kind of hard to live up towards towards that expectations. And you now, once you go a little below or something, and people just start judging you and they start saying things about you and all that stuff, so I don't really care because we all human and we all make mistakes. And I don't think like the whole YouTube scene where I, where I see all these like these uh 100 kill games and montages and stuff, like I, I believe like they're all illusions, like even from my montages and my um my past recent games, they're all illusions to be honest. You know, like you're not gonna get 100 kills every game. You're not gonna make montages every game. You know, some games you go get raped. You go come across parties and you go have a bad game. We all have bad games. We all have bad days where we shouldn't be playing at all. So, if I look towards um, if I look towards that to that little standpoint, I'm more of an aggressive player. And when I look at people like Nibiru, I like playing with Nibiru because he's more of an objective player. Like, he ain't ass, but the way he was playing, it was like, you know, get to the objective, you know, we have fun, you know, we don't take the game seriously and everything. So, you know, whatever happens, it, you know, whatever happens, happens. You know, if I get these kind of gameplays, I just get them. I don't really just look. I just go to the next game. I don't really say anything. You know, I just be like, oh, I got a 60 kill game, whatever. Now, I guess I don't know if that's my expectations or that's other people's expectations when I get these kind of things or something. I don't know. But my um, I play with others. I play with a lot of people, and uh, some days I just you know I sit there and analyze, and I play with a lot of campers. But then I have like another half of my friend list. It's like I play with a lot of aggressive people. People I play on YouTube and Twitter, they're they're, they're aggressive people also. And the people I play with are always good. You know, it's not like um, like my friend list is probably like average people, like average, eh, some maybe below average, just a little bit, but. On the outside of my friend list, everybody's really good, and you know, I play with a lot of different people, and 
I get to uh, I get to learn more about them, and we all talk different talk, you know, different conversations and discussions wound up happening in the party, and it's just a different experience to me, and it just uh makes me wonder sometimes, like you know, like um, makes me wonder, you know, that it's pretty much worth doing the YouTube, do it worth doing the whole YouTube thing because. I like meeting and playing with new people. So it's like, it gives me a whole different experience and it gives me a whole new mindset of things that you should, you should be appreciating. And I appreciate the things that happen on Xbox Live. I don't have a PS4. I'm going to get it as soon as that Final Fantasy VII remake comes out. That's when I'm going to get the PS4. I got to get it early. Did y'all see that Final Fantasy remake? Man, man, I'm going to put a link up. Should be a link in annotation right now, in fact. The Final Fantasy, there was a new gameplay for the Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Uh, it was real-time real time battle, I believe. And they showed the very beginning. And they showed uh, they showed Cloud, Barrett, and they showed... Uh, whoever played Final Fantasy 7, you know what I'm talking about. The three the three people at the beginning. The, uh, the Avalanche, there you go. The Avalanche showed their gang. And they, they, they're just as you expected, baby. But the expectations of the games go be through the roof, of course. I can't wait till I get my copy. In fact, I'm going to get the PlayStation 4 just for that game. Early release. I don't feel like waiting for the Xbox One version. So I'm going to get me a brand new heater for next winter. The PS4, that's what I call it. I call it a heater or a gloss box or not. It's going to be good, though. So I can't wait. This about wraps it up for today. Uh, this is the Game 360. I will chat with y'all later.